Blessed love, give thanks for life and a mighty life. Give and we give thanks for all good things around us are sent from Zion above. So we praise for I praise for I for his divine love and we give thanks definitely for being live here with you in St. Lucia and also you know live on Facebook on Calabash TV. You know, um specifically we are you know on this mission to actually work towards uplifting ourselves as a nation of people uh, a mission towards eradicating disease and uplifting ourselves to the extent that we as a people you know um become our own physicians whereby we begin to care enough for our own selves that we don't really become independent you know on other people but we are more dependent upon our own selves so we give thanks for life and a mighty life give we give thanks for this divine opportunity once more to be with you and definitely you know for the past couple of Sundays um, we've not had a live broadcast on um, Calabash television the food of seven and also in that manner we need to have a live YouTube broadcast when it comes to the whole aspect of the food of seven and we do give thanks for all the people who who actually still you know because as we move through even right here in St. Lucia, we have lots of our elderly people, especially who um, always bless us up, you know, and always check for us and always tell us that, right, um, they, they really um, appreciate love the work that we are doing when it comes to the whole aspect of bringing people forward to the herbs and the whole aspect of allowing people to even have a greater overstanding for, for themselves and a greater love for themselves. So we give thanks for all those people, you know, especially the elder people who are empowered and, and they are actually encouraged or full courage. You know, um, then, you know, at the end of the day, you know, what happens is that we as a people, we, we really um, lose that whole guidance from the elders. If it is we lose that guidance from the elders, it is very important that um, at the end of the day that we understand that that guidance will literally cost us even a lot more than our lives. It will cost us the lives of all the generations of our people to come. You know, so we give thanks for this divine opportunity. You know, um, we give thanks for all those people who are continually, you know, um, supporting us and blessing us. And it is very important, right, to actually just give thanks for the love that the people continually show and the elders specifically. And give thanks for everyone who actually encourages us along the way, you know, even those on, on Facebook. and all the other means right and little messages that where people actually encourage us along the way you know and every time we pass by people literally right just you know say please you know give thanks for the work and i i continually watch the program and it is um for us as a people you know to say well give thanks and 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 glorify you know I, and and i glorify the divine moment that we are having right here and it is important that at least that we as a people um we're just getting some messages here you know and we give thanks for that for all these messages that's coming in so we just take care of some of the messages even on on our youtube live live feed you know so we're going to um just answer them a little bit later 
as more and more are actually coming. So it's important that as a people, you know, we, we, we fundamentally have that, that love for ourselves, whereby when someone you know, wishes you the best, you fully understand that, okay, well, it is really for our own upliftment and benefit that we as a people can say yes priest you know give thanks for the works and whatever is happening because when an elder person tells you that that they give thanks for for your works when it comes to the whole aspect of the herbs because most times it is the elder people that tell the youth Everything about the herbs is not that you as a youth does tell the elder people anything about the herbs. The, the elder people does normally tell all the youth as things about the herbs. The elder people, they does really, I mean, strengthen us and tell us plenty things, you know, and, and give us the strength. I remember my grandmother is the one that really strengthen us and give us the strength and the fortitude and give us the knowledge, the wisdom and the, also the know-how of how it is that we as a people supposed to to grow ourselves and and they sow the energy into ourselves because what, what used to happen before the elders used to actually keep the knowledge away from, from the people. People never really used to know exactly what the herbs are used for and exactly what they're supposed to how they're supposed to use the herbs i mean you used to go to an elder and then most of them was used to have the things real in real top secret you know i mean people never used to know what these elders knew and what they actually never never knew they they, they kept everything very secret so the knowledge wasn't something that was just passed down from generation to generation just like that there were key people that actually received that knowledge. There were key people that took that knowledge and organized that knowledge into a manner where, whereby that knowledge was saved. So they didn't just lose the knowledge because the time that our people were, even right now, the time that you are living right now, many things that you might know about the herbs, you know, you, you even have to be careful when and who and who you tell it. Because at the end of the day, some people really don't want that herb thing to reach any level of any heights. And they don't really want that, that herb thing to reach any level whereby as a people, you know, um, it's up there. So sometimes some things you know about the herbs, you keep it shh because the elders knew that, that if you give out too much of that information, you know, somewhere down the line, someone is going to take it and they're going to change it into something that is very, very destructive to us as a people rather than something for our benefit. So it was not something that was given or passed on like openly like this. You know, it was something that was top secret. You know, you go and you go and somebody give you medicine and then what they do, they, they, they whisper a little prayer. Shh, and they take some herbs and they do their thing and then they, you know, all type of thing people used to do. You used to have people with um, all types of stuff. Um, how they call these things there? Yeah, in the Creole, they used to call it um, vewi, you know, and in, 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 um, in English, they call it wats, you know, and many people who used to have all these different type of stuff. And people never used to know what to do but to go to the to the elders in the village. People never used to go and get no antibiotics and antivirals and any of these things. What they do, they used to go to this, I think in one, of, one auntie of mine, they used to take like an old quarter and spit on it and you know, rub on the stuff and throw it on the side and say a little prayer and, you know, and as time goes by and by and by and by, the mole would literally disappear. Right? And all that knowledge, most of it, we've lost it. You know, a lot of the elders, 
never left that knowledge with anyone. You know, and it was it was something that basically um, sad because many of us, you know, as that interested generation have lost um, directories and vocabularies and truth berries have truths have been buried and they call it lie buried and, and truth have truths have been buried and many encyclopedias and living bibles and manuscripts from our ancient people knowledge that we could never regain, regain again just because the elders now never chose to actually pass on that information to the youth as a as in general they never passed the information so that that is lost that is lost information it's gone why? Because the elders who possess this, they passed on and they moved on. So in that physical realms, that information is gone unless, right, you could tap into the ancient source, which is within the self. Because we, we know that we have, even the DNA of our ancestors is within us. So when you're talking about the knowledge of our ancestors, it's all inside of us. It's within us. So it's not really like you have lost anything. The, the only thing that you have lost is self. So you have lost yourself so much that you cannot tap back into your own physical self, into your ancestral DNAs. You know, your deoxyribonucleic acid, these, these base pairs that actually store memory, you know, and they store even, even situations and everything. I mean, when you go to the DNA, I mean, you could create the person, but you also create the person's experiences because one's experiences would actually determine how that genetic material really is. It's very important that we keep these things there in mind. Very important. That way, you know, we fully understand the, the great significance of what we get from our ancestors and what we've lost and what we've not lost and the, the fact that we've not lost anything at all. Every single experience of, of our mothers and our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers and our great-great-great-great-grandmothers and our ancestors a thousand years ago, all that experience is stored right within us. It's passed on through sexual intercourse when you get the experience of your mother and the experience of your father combining, coming together to create you. You know, so you're not only just a physical manifestation or representation of your mother and your father. You are also a, a, a total of all the experiences. So you could actually manifest certain type of things. Literally manifest it. Why? Just because you possess that inside of you. So all the knowledge of our great-grandmothers and our grandmothers and our forefathers all that knowledge is still inside of us. It is inside of us and it is for us to go inside, not outside. You know, sometimes all you need to do is just to come into the forest or into the bush and walk around and then you stumble on something and then next thing you know, you walk down the road and you meet somebody who tells you about this one something and then you stumble on something else and somebody else says something about this something else and then as you go by, it's not, it's not abracadabra, you know, the voice is going to come from the sky. And No, I mean, the knowledge that one person has might be spread out within a variety of field of people to the extent that just because you are open and you are aware of your own powers and your own potential, you definitely will actually encounter and be able to understand and receive and understand and understand that, look, that that experience is a divine experience that could, that could actually benefit you. Right? So we give thanks, definitely. So most of our knowledge, I mean, you know that we actually studied the sciences and we went through the entire realms of everything. Most of our knowledge and our understanding most of everything that we were doing as a people that knowledge and understanding literally right is not something that actually just came in overnight. I mean our people from the simple laxatives to the simple blood detoxifiers to the simple hoop cleansers after childbirth and all these different type of things. All these things, they are very fundamental and important knowledge that we as a people are supposed to be utilizing 
So, yes, we have the advancement of technology and you have people doing, doing surgery to somebody all the way in a different country by controlling a robot and they're and they cutting into somebody and they're cutting this and, and they're doing that. Okay, yeah, give thanks. For all the advancement in technology by the end of the day, with all the advancement, you never should forget. You never should not remember, right, the contributions of our ancestors, what it is that we knew yesterday. So tonight, we, we're just going to, you know, talk about our book, The Herbal Manual. It's very important. I mean, The Herbal Manual is um, a guide to better living free from pain and disease. The, the Herbal Manual, the matrix of herbal medicine. So this book now, fundamentally, this book here was actually written by yours truly, Honorable Priest Kela Leons. And the information is just information gathered on herbs that are indigenous to our area of the world. Longitude and latitude. Right? And every single herb in this is a herb that you will bounce upon so if you walk in some place in St. Lucia or Dominica or Antigua or Barbados or, or Guyana or any of these countries, even some places in, in America and, and, and Europe, I mean, some of the herbs, I mean, some of them grow over there also. They might be different, but just because you understand the fundamental principle, because the herbs will not always look exactly the same. So a dandelion in St. Lucia would look different than a dandelion even in a neighboring island of, of, of Antigua. Right? And a dandelion in St. Lucia would still be different than a dandelion in England, the United Kingdom. All this would actually be different. You know, it's very important that we understand that. that all this thing there, I mean, it's very important that we fundamentally understand. You're getting a little phone call here from someone in Ontario, but pardon us, please. I mean, we are doing a live television program and, you know, we didn't even mute our... our Tell our 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 phone. So, pardon us here, but we'll actually take your call some other time. So the herbs, they even if they are the same herbs, but just because of their geographic locations, how they look would be completely different. So the herbal manual actually teaches you of also before it gets into the herbs, it actually begins from. I mean, the biblical diet, I mean, um, for, because the majority of people you know, follow um, the Bible, and so we just point to the Bible to what the Creator says that they're actually supposed to eat and drink, you know. I'm in the States. Where can I get a herbal manual? I mean, the herbal manual is on our website, prescalash.com. That's prescalash.com. You could buy it right there, or you could buy it on Amazon. So you could just go pre um, the herbal manual. Honorable Priest Kailash, Great Physician International. You could do that search, definitely. You'll get it on Amazon also. But it's on our website, priestkailash.com. Priestkailash.com, definitely you could get it there. So the Herbal Manual goes through that whole aspect of what is disease and tells you what disease is, even from the word disease. This is D-I-S, a Latin prefix, meaning a part, a shanda, way, you know, and then say ease, freedom from labor, pain or physical annoyance, tranquil, rest, comfort, to enjoy one's ease. This ease then being not being tranquil, not being free from physical annoyance, not being comfortable, all that is just being diseased. So when you hear that someone is diseased, sometimes you think of some type of cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure. But disease in every essence is just the fact that you are not at ease. Very important, right? So the herbal manual takes it from that aspect. Like what is this ease? And then carries you to the causes of disease, the true causes of disease. So it goes saying, well, the true cause of disease is negative thinking, constipation of the mind, because the same way that the physical structure can be constipated, the mind can be constipated. The same way the physical structure can be constipated, the same way the mind can be constipated. Constipation of the mind. constipation of the mind whereby your mind is so clogged up to the extent that 
Your mind is so clogged up to the extent that you don't you're gonna even, even ease off your mind. So you are sick. You are diseased. So your mind, you're not free up in your heavens. So you are diseased in the heavens. So you have constipation of the, of the body or the goody. Defective nutrition as in the indulgence of overstimulating and harmful foods. Poisons and pollutants in the environments. Overstimulation or overindulgence in eating, pleasure-seeking, sex, work, lack of physical activity, poor elimination of toxins from the system, drug consumption, legal and illegal drugs, unhealthy social habits, poor personal hygiene, all these things there specifically are causes of disease. So, the herbal manual gives you the, the definition of disease, the causes of disease, and also goes from and begins the whole journey into the whole realms of the cell. The cell. And goes into the whole aspect of the functions of the different organelles of the cell. So, I mean, you could see it here. Yeah, I mean, you could see it easy here on, 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 on YouTube. But, I mean, right here on, on Calabash Television, I mean, definitely... You could see a bit of it. Voila. So you could see the cell and the different functions and different parts of the cell. So it's very important that you will fully understand that. And then you have the different cells, the white blood cells. Right? So you have the white blood cells right here, if you could see right here. And then you have the different functions of every single white blood cell. So you have the neutrophils. They kill bacteria by the means of the process called phagocytosis. Phago just means eating. Cytosis just means the breaking down of. So they break down the cells through eating the cells. So they eat it the cells through. They ingest it and then they split. So they drop some enzymes into it and just digest it and eat it up. Phagocytosis. That's what the neutrophils actually do. Then you have the basophils that release chemicals that, me that mediate inflammat inflammation and allergic responses. So you have different cells within the physical structure. That takes, that takes responsibility for different specific functions. And that's just science. That's just it. So the herbal manual doesn't just teach you about a herb. So it goes through the whole realms of that. And then it goes into the alkaline and acid forming foods. So before it talks about alkaline and acid forming foods, not acid foods, but acid forming foods. Because there are foods that you might place a litmus paper in and it might be acidic. But it's an alkalizing food to the physical structure. So it's not acid and alkaline foods, but acid and alkaline forming foods that create that, that, that environment of acidity or alkalinity within your physical structure. Okay, so when we understand that, it will give you a list of al alkalizing and, and acid forming foods. Then goes into the different systems of the physical structure, the endocrine system, right? And goes into the different types of glands, exocrine glands and endocrine glands. And talks about the penile gland, the thyroid gland, the parathyroid gland, the thymus, the adrenal gland, right? The, and gives you also diseases, diseases also of the endocrine system. You know, talks about um, the pituitary gland, the pancreas, the female gonads, the ovaries, right? The, 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 the male gonads, the testes. And goes into the chakras and how the chakras actually links right into the whole endocrine system. So the Herbal Manual is not just a book about herbs. It's a book that actually takes you deep into the systems. So the endocrine system goes into it and links it to your chakra, your, your chakra or your energy point system. Then you also have the digestive system. So how it is that food is broken up from the, from the mouth. From the, why do you have to chew the enzymes in the mouth? What particular types of foods get broken down into, into in your mouth or what you call the buccal, the buccal cavity right and into the stomach the small intestines the large intestines give you a nice little over, over, overview on that and talks about constipation different herbs for constipation and herbs for the digestive system then goes into the respiratory system so we must understand that the herbal manual is not just a book that deals with herbs, it deals with the physical structure. And even before it begins to talk about herbs and tell, give you a picture of a herbs, it actually makes you have a full understanding of yourself. Very important. So definitely, the herbal manual goes through the respiratory system also, 
talks about the alveolus and the gas exchange, what is inspiration and expiration. So you understand the process, what happens when you, you breathe in. Talks about the immune system, right? And then the lymphatic system, where the lymphoid organs are, the tissues, all that are part of the, the, the immune system, the circulatory system, you know, um, herbs for the circulatory system, the male reproductive system, the female reproductive system, right? And also goes into the nervous system, the urinary system, you know, and then, you know, the, the herbal manual, literally, actually, before it gets to the herbs, you know, I mean, you would have over 50 pages of information before you get to the first plant, which is the almond plant, right? The Caribbean almond or the Zaman or the West Indian almond, right? And all, all it uses. Okay, so it is very important that we have that, that foundation. That foundation is so, so, so important. Very important, I mean. It's so, so important. Very important. And if you don't know of yourself, it will be very difficult to know of anything else, right? So we are due for an intercession. Definitely, we're going to take a little intercession. When we come again, we are going to continue with the herbal manual. And then we are going to talk of a couple of our products and let you know about it. And definitely where you could get it. I mean, for the people who in St. Lucia, you know, you have Liberty Foods on Jeremy Street. And so the people who are internationally, you could actually get the herbal manual uh, at priestkailash.com. That is priestkailash.com, P-R-I-E-S-T-K-A-I-L-A-S-H.com. And also um, on Amazon, you could just check for the herbal manual, um, Priest Kailash, the great physician international. Any one of these, you, you know, you could get it right from there. Okay, so definitely this is the beginning. You have to actually learn of yourself. So the herbal manual itself begins in the man, you, well. So you, yourself, that have to build up yourself to the extent that, look, right, um, it's, it's essential, very essential that you love yourself to the extent that you invest time and energy in reading about yourself how you work, how your physical structure function. And when you understand how your physical structure function, then you could understand how the herbs actually function and how these herbs actually interact with your physical structure. Yeah? Rastafari. So we're going to take an intercession when you come again. We're definitely going to continue. And we'll open up the lines and we could open up the chat room and definitely we could take your questions and we could give you answers for whatever concerns that you might have. Yeah? Rastafari. <laughs> Summer. Get ready, set for school with the Educator or Educator Plus loan from the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. No more back to school stress. The Educator loans will take care of everything you need, including school fees, materials, and supplies. Up to $10,000 of primary and secondary students and up to $20,000 for young adults with affordable payments for up to four years. Call or visit us for more information today. The Educator and Educator Plus loan only at the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. Save and borrow with pride. Terms and conditions apply. My sisters, come let us go. Oh, Massy, I have everything for you. Quality goods, the best for you. Massy, you can live. Come on. Boy, my sisters, cause they're leading. My sisters have everything. Appliance and grocery shopping. My sisters, they have for you. Like you don't understand, well, hear me. Massy is the best in the country. No other can do it like Massy. No, baby, no. Tell the park your groceries in a Massy park. Massy stores is acting we country. Join the cause to help we help we. Help we. And for who did the part? Thank you for more part. Massy stores is doing everything they can do. Massy stores can let us go. Oh, Massy have everything for you. Quality goods the best for you. Family serving your family. Come on. 
FJC and Anthony presents Emancipation Day Monster Challenge Walk 2019 going down on Thursday 1st August 2019 registration $20 groups of five pay $15 pack proceeds will be donated to the Mario Football Club starting time 6 a.m. water and shirts will be provided starting from the Mario playing field to Chapmel Mondo, Bele Hill, Lacqua, and back to Marigo. Come emancipate yourself from mental stress. Plenty of prizes to be won, including a water dispenser with four bottles of water, monster hampers, and many other products. Registration points, Eco Supermarket in Cooley Town, and Promise Supermarket in Marigo. For registration, contact Anthony at 461-7008. FJC at 717-1025 and Travis at 717-9396 Sponsored by Monster Energy, Blue Water St. Lucia, JJ's Paradise, Promise Supermarket and Eagle Supermarket We are the Bank of St. Lucia for every solution Building our future today we are the Bank of St. Lucia, for every solution, with you every step of the way. Always there for you, serving you and me, the St. Lucia way, we like family. Always there for you, helping you and me, B-O-S-L no say for me. We are the Bank of St. Lucia, for every solution. Bank of St. Lucia, all the bank you need. Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver as we are going live again right here on Calabash Television, the food of seven. And we give thanks for all good things around us are sent from Zion above. So we praise for I praise for I for his divine love. All right, and we give thanks, you know, for the inspiration and the expiration that, you know, that we could have expired, you know, you know breathe it out. Bring it into fruition and reality, the herbal manual. So the, the first herb on the herbal manual is not really a herb. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, a tree, you know, it's a plant, you know, called the almond plant, what they call the, the, the West Indian, uh, the West Indian almond, yeah, what they call the zaman. That there is a very significant plant. That plant here is a plant that is, you know, people eat it, you know, and it's different than the, the common almond. That, uh, that, that tree does normally just grow, grow right by the beach. Right, um, the volume is still low. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to have to work on that, honorable. But I, I don't know if I have to be shouting, but the volume is still low. Pardon me, honorable. But I, I'm, I'm doing my best here. Um, so the almond plant is a plant that we actually utilize for the whole aspect of high blood pressure. You know, the leaves, the, especially the, the red leaves or the yellowing leaves, whenever it is actually um, matured and it falls off. You know, it, that leaf there can be utilized for high blood pressure. You know, the back of it is actually contains lots of tannins, okay? And you can make a nice cooling if the back of the, of the almond plants. But when you soak it, the water is going to get a very dark, darkish color. And the fruit itself, I mean, you know, the almond, rich in calcium, grows right by the sea. So it's very rich in minerals, potassium, you know, so it grows all around the, the seaside by mangroves and all these different areas there. And these are very nutrient and mineral rich areas because it's rich of water and rich of salts, right? So the, it's a very resilient plant, you know, so you could cut it and it spreads and cut the head and it spreads and cut it and it spread. And I mean, the bats love it. You know, the bats would come and eat it in the night. You know, and so the nut or the seed on the inside is, ex is very, very nutritious, right? So extremely rich in new minerals. So the almond plant, you know, as they say, it's antifungal, antiviral, hepatoprotective, protects the, 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 the liver. You know, so the first the herb is not really like a herb per se. It's a plant, right? A tree, you know, and, you know, we have um, the aloe vera. You know, many people say, well, you know, the aloe vera is an acidic plant. Okay, yes, um, the aloe vera in, in every essence is a plant that, that I have utilized and I have seen benefits in it to the, to the extent, well, I mean, when, when okay, we do home births, home deliveries, and whenever, after cutting the navel, the, the, the string, the navel, the navel, the, the, the navel, 
uh, the navel area here and when you cut the umbilical cord right um, about inch and a half two inches away from from the some people go three inches even right but if you when you cut it after or some people just leave it and, and let it detach by itself but for those who cut it you know you know we leave it a couple of hours and then we cut it okay then you add the, the gel of the aloes right on it, it helps it to heal extremely fast and drop off so aloe vera is something that we do utilize especially for for burns and these type of things there when you have a fresh burn the aloe vera or the, the cannabis oil is extremely good also but aloe vera honey all these things are things that you could apply to fresh burns they are excellent in healing and soothes the physical structure so um, i know some people say it's acidic and it's not alkaline and it's genetically whatever but i mean the aloe have proven to be very effective in in how in the ways that we actually utilize it even in vaginal steam baths i mean that's one way that we encourage women who you know women who after their, their menstrual cycle you know they could just boil some about a gallon of water and chop about three of the aloe vera leaves inside of it hot boiling water and let the vapor of the the steam you know um, nutrify the vaginal canals i mean that is very very important you know and we must understand the benefits of these things, that these things, they are extremely beneficial to us. Very beneficial to us. Then we have the amaranth plant, what they call the kalalu, or they call the zepina. If you look at it right here, the zepina. Those of you here, you could see the zepina. I mean, that, that hair is, is, is um, key food. It's not just like a, a herb. Yes, it's a home cleanser. It's a, it's a diuretic. You know, helps to take out excessive fluid from the physical structure, nutrient and maturating herb. Astringent helps to tighten tissue. But at the end of the day, it is a food. You know, this is one of the richest, iron richest, iron rich foods. I mean, and also you could utilize it as a poultice. You could just pong it, pong it, pong it, pong it, you know, and, you know, put a little bit of, of clay or a little bit of, of, of um, charcoal, you know, and a little bit of flour and do it into a poultice or cassava flour, whatever it is, and then put it externally on hemorrhoids. Very, very, very good for that. You know, helps to actually ease the inflammatory response, right? It is better than preparation H and all these different type of things. Use preparation H is preparation herbs, not preparation H. Like, you know, like, um, how do you call them things there again? Steroids, okay? So it's very good as a herb specifically. And for green juices, excellent also. That's the amaranth plant. Right, so the herbal manual then goes into the banana. So the banana, which is the platano, you, you know, you have different types of bananas. You have the platano burro, platano fruto, you know, all these different types of bananas. I mean, banana is a very, very, very rich plant. You know, banana is a plant that is actually utilized extensively as a food. You know, um, um, boiled with the skin on, even the, sk the, the skin can be stewed, you know, um, when it's ripened also the banana is actually utilized as a wonderful fruit especially when it's it's tacti as they call it when all the dark spots are on the yellow skin of the banana very rich when it, when it is carbonated or melanated right uh, extremely rich in in your you know semi-digested proteins and your sugars and your i mean it is very good the banana rich in potassium you know so that there it's very important and also as an iron source that's why the banana stain is so difficult when you have a green banana stain it's almost impossible to take it out why because the banana itself is extremely rich in iron right so even the green plants when you take the green plants and you cut off the green plants and you make it drip into the water right what happens is that when you drink it, it contains a lot of iron all right so the the latex of the banana is actually iron rich and even the 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 stem of the banana when it's rotten in the inner core of it can be utilized as as something to a uh, hemostatic to help to stop bleeding and all them different type of things there okay so that hair um is also very good for for wound healing you know and it's good to actually clean up it's very it's a, an antiseptic also that can be utilized even the the stem of the banana very effective right so we could open up the lines and we open up the lines for those people who, who actually have questions for us so they could ask whatever questions that they have as as we say the herbal manual the matrix of herbal medicine is one of our manuscripts one of the books that we have written and even when when following us and when 
dealing with whatever it is that we are dealing with is very important to have a, a herbal manual because it contains the foundational material, the scientific basis and the traditional basis, the cultural basis of how it is that we're supposed to utilize the herbs around us. So those of you who want to call 4519349, that is 1758451939, These two numbers definitely for your calls. If you want to call into the studio live in St. Lucia, that's 1758451939 and 1758451730. So I am saying it because I know that for the people who are, are watching us on YouTube, I mean, you won't be able to see the screen, you know, but the people who are watching us live in St. Lucia will actually be seeing the numbers in St. Lucia. So those of you who want to call or ask a question, definitely could call that number. Or if you have a question right here on YouTube in the chat room, definitely you could ask that uh, on Facebook. You could ask the questions, and then we could actually give you an overstanding. So we say, well, the Herbal Manual contains aspects of um, what the original leavet really supposed to be, what a man really supposed to be eating, goes from the cellular level, what is a cell, the different types of cells, the, the length of time a cell, a particular type of cell supposed to be in existence, and all these different aspects there. And it is very important that we, we have that full overstanding. Um, Michaela Blake, give thanks, Honorable. How to cleanse the liver? Are there any natural remedies for stomach ulcers? Well, I mean, definitely to cleanse the liver. The liver, uh, the liver is, I mean, it's the liver. It's, it actually, it, it, that's where it makes you live. To cleanse the liver, there is a herb that you call cassia alata, which is basically one of the herbs that grows um, nice in, in um, swampy water field areas. But it's also a very resilient herb. It also grows in areas where you have dry conditions and, and caterpillar would come and eat out all the leaves caterpillars love that herb you know caterpillars would fight with you just to eat up all of your cassia alata now, what, what they call it also is the king of the forest right so the king of the forest that is that herb right here the king of the forest right and if you on on calabash television right here that that herb right here is the yellow flower yes caster is called a blessed yeah mm -hmm. blessed my blood blessed love give thanks Yes, a question on two different herbs. The a bit Kushle louder, please. And the she of glow. Yeah, the she of glow, yeah. What is the real use of this herb for what ailment? A listener on it. Okay, all right, give thanks. Well, the she of glow is basically, before I go on to the she of glow, so the cassia lata is a very good liver cleanse. Okay, the cassia lata. That hair is a herb you could utilize in a green juice. It will give you a diarrhea, literally. And also, you could utilize it um, specifically, you know, um, as, a, as a cooling. So you could just pour some hot water over it in the night, and you could leave it overnight, and you drink it as your water from early in the morning until 12 o'clock. Because you, you're using it as a cleanser and a cooling, you don't drink it after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. All right? So that also is specifically as a liver cleanse and blood detoxifier. All right? So... The Jew of Glue that the, the Honorable is talking about, that's our, our call from St. Lucia. They're asking about a herb called the Jew of Glue. Jew of is clove, or, you know, the water clove. You know, you could call it like if you direct translation into English. It's a herb that looks like a clove, but that is extremely important for your urinary system. So it is very good in actually bringing down the blood pressure levels, cleans out the kidneys. You know, it's a natural diuretic. It's good for any urinary tract infections. Anything urinary is very important for that. Okay, so it's called the Jiwaf Glow, very important. 451-9349 and 4531730. Mark Kayla Blake, give thanks for sharing your wealth of knowledge. Oh, you're welcome, Honorable. Give thanks. You know, um, give thanks for asking the question. I mean, when you ask questions, you get out of the well. Okay, 451-9349-4531730. So the Herbal Manual is a book that you can order online com or also on Amazon or you could stop on our shop on, on Jeremy Street, leave it cast it and get a copy. Yes, Grozy Le Caller, blessed. Yes, blessed. good night. Um, the medication they call Nuni, is it good for seizures? Nuni? Yes. Well, the best, there are two herbs you could use for seizures that are, that are actually just seizure herbs is the fit weed what they call the shadow benny right the shadow benny 
that is actually a herb for seizures or seizures or whatever you call it or fits right um why because the name itself is called fit weed you know because it's used for seizures and also the marijuana the cannabis right so that is the the number one herb for 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 seizures i mean i would more look onto nuni as an immune system enhancer a very mild laxative and also something to help to regulate the blood sugar levels and the roots of the nuni can be utilized as an aphrodisiac on different other type of things a lift for headache but for seizures i would lean to go to more herbs like the shadow many the fit weed and also the marijuana okay thank you you're welcome love four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero give thanks if you have any questions on youtube i mean definitely you could ask it right in the chat room right here and um, any questions right on live on television center lucia you could actually call one seven five eight four five one nine three four nine one seven five eight four five one four five three one seven three zero and the our blood detoxifier which is this product right here the blood detoxifier yes bokash caller blessed yes blessed love honorable give thanks Please kill it. honorable Please. right I'd like to find out whether you whether an enlarged prostate could be shrunk yes and if you have any in medication for that yeah, of course, yeah, we do what we, have, what we call, like, we have a mail package and we have a, a product called the Prosperity and that specifically will help to bring back your, your prostate to a, to a proper size and also when your prostate is enlarged, you must ensure that you have proper and frequent bowel movements, you know, because your rectum is very close. You have to do what? A very frequent bowel movements. You must never get constipated, right? Because the moment that you get constipated with an enlarged prostate is more trouble for you. Because the poo-poo actually rests right up on the prostate. Because the prostate and your rectum is, is like millimeters apart. You know, so it is very important that it's not just the herbs that you drink, but also your lifestyle. You know, um, how stressed you are. You know, because stress does, does, does affect the hormones of a man, not just as a woman. You know, and also how a man deals with rejection. You know, so all these things are very important when it comes to the overall wellness of your prostate. You know, and it is important. So, would you... Go ahead. Would you have um, or would you know something like red clover? Well, the what they call red clover here in Saint Lucia is what a a, a herb they call fly maggot wheat, right? That's a purple, a purple flower, you know, which is a different than the the so-called red clover. Red clover, um, that herb there, yes, it's a herb that helps to fortify the prostate because it has a very, very large quantity of zinc. And it's fully of, of sulfur, that's why it's so pungent. All right, and uh, the purplish color of it, I mean, it's mineral fill. Okay, so that is a very, and it's a bitter herb also. So it's a very good herb for the prostate. But as I'm saying, when, it, when you're dealing with prostatic enlargement, you don't just deal with a herb, you deal with your food, you deal with mm -hmm. your mental state, right? And also, there are simple things that you could do, like, like warm baths. You could literally sit down in a warm basin with some feuille du vent. You know what they call the, 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 the guinea hen weed or, or, or what they call the gully root. That, that also is extremely important. So it's not just one herb. You know, there's a way that you have to take care of okay. your prostate to get your prostate how it's supposed to be. But a swollen prostate definitely can be brought forward to, to um, wellness. Okay? So you, so you have the, the package, you have a, a man pack, package for, for, for men? Yeah, you have, a, you have a male package, yes, for men. Yes, What's the name of it? Let's go ask, ask for the mail package. The mail package. The mail package. Yeah, you'll have six of these products, and then you need also need a, a, a small bottle like I call the Prosperity. So you'd have six bottles like that, right? And then so you'd have a colon cleanse to clean out the colon. You'd have a um, um, a blood clean, a blood and cellular cleanse. Um, then you'd have something a, okay. a nail tonics, a blood regulator, something to remove mucus, and something to build the blood. So you'd have six different products plus you have the prosperity specifically for sp prostatic function that's the seven bottles so where you located on Jerome where Street. you located on okay Street. okay but okay. thanks okay. thanks very much man love my brother give thanks for calling take care okay so definitely we must have that full oversight of that okay Michaela Blake I have stayed away from garlic because I heard that if you put it on a knife and cut the skin it won't heal but I noticed that you use in your tincture what 
what are your thoughts on garlic well we don't use garlic in our tincture you know there's a herb called garlic weed or what you call the fade over which is basically um um the fade over is a is what they call a guinea hen weed or it is it is like they call it garlic weed also so uh we don't really use it in our tincture at all at all at all at all we don't use it in our tincture at all okay what we use it in you know what we do, what what does use it in specifically if we have to use garlic at all we could actually ferment it and and bring it into a syrup form right to and combine it with other herbs to make it less acidic but it's not something that we use in our tinctures we don't use it in our tinctures at all all right it's not something i cook with or something i eat personally yes good night let me tell you, some, somebody gave me, uh, LRF gave me uh, the St. John Bush. Mm -hmm. He tell me that it's good good for first case to dry it and drink it. Is it, is it good? Good for what? St. John Bush. St. John Bush. The TV to loud fire. Right? I, I, I didn't get what you said, but, but the St. John's Bush is basically a herb that's good for eye problems. You could wash the eye if it is very good for problems with the, the, the menstrual cycle. Very rich in iron, it helps to build up the blood. You know, I mean, many different things, but I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But it's basically a more of a female herb. I mean, more like a female herb, you know, um, basically. All right, um, it's a female herb. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 4519349453 As a Bobo Shanti, as a Rastafari, as a priest, you know, I don't really use garlic and onion and them type of things there. Eh? Right? So, not even because of alkaline and acidic diet. You know, um, as a priest of the Melchizedek, you, know, you don't really use cook with these things, okay? So if you have to utilize it, you have, you know you have to get it into a state. You understand? So we don't really cook with it and do them type of things. If we don't put it in salad and no, we don't do that at all. Not at all. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Definitely, those of you on YouTube who want to ask a question, definitely you are free to ask. I see where we have only one person who is actually um, speaking up, Michaela Blake, in, in the chat room. Or I don't know if probably YouTube have a problem and that's the only chat that's actually coming in. But I mean, give thanks, Sister Blake, for the love. Right? And you know, we give thanks for that. And, uh, and that's not, I mean, if you pass garlic on a, a knife, they say, I have, st I have stayed away from garlic because I heard that if you put it on a knife and cut the skin, it won't hit. That's not true. So many times people in the kitchen using knife and cut. Uh, come on. I mean, garlic is garlic, but don't go. Yeah, that's overboard. You know what I mean? Come on. You could just prove that. You won't cut the garlic and it won't heal. So many chefs using garlic and they get cut and, they, and so what? They, they, they cut never heal? That's not. I won't, I don't adhere to this type of thing. You know, sometimes people take things overboard. That's why people get religious about certain type of things. And they, instead of having knowledge, they become religious. Stop being religious and just be knowledgeable. You know, don't build up religions around things. If you cut past garlic and knife and you cut yourself, it won't heal. So many times people using garlic in the kitchen and they cut their hand and their hand still heal. People used to put garlic on wounds. I know people with ringworm that literally scratch up the ringworm and rub it with garlic. You know? So, come on. We, we, we don't um, adhere to these type of things at all. I wouldn't recommend that you, you take it and you put it inside of... The, some people say they, they put it in the vaginal canal for fungus and yeast infection. No way! It will burn you up. Don't, don't do that at all. You know, but at the end of the day, um, don't go overboard like that. All right? Greetings from Jamaica. Yes, I poopa 45. I mean, give thanks for life and a mighty life. Give, give thanks for tuning in. I mean, give thanks for all those of you from all around the place that's there with us. Give thanks. Black Heart of Love, all those of you who are here with us. And as you know, it is not just my program. It's also your program. You know, so let us reason. So we have the, 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 the blood detoxifier and cleanser. This basically is utilized. It contains the cassia lata inside of it, the, the dandelion, cascara sagrada, you know, perungal ginger, neem, all these herbs inside of it. That's helped to, to, to clean out the, the liver and to clean out you cellularly. Right? So the, the blood detoxifier is, is part of our male package and part of the female package. So that is something you take after you've taken the free up laxative. 
the colon cleanse you actually start up the blood detoxifier and the other five bottles that size as part of the package so that now you take a tablespoon three times a day if you have somebody with diabetes or someone who is chronically ill or acute ill you go three tablespoons three times a day right that will last you about a three to four days you know and three days if you take it three tablespoons three times a day three days some people two and a half days and five days if you take it a tablespoon three times a day okay so that specifically is part of the package and that there helps to cleanse out your physical structure all right and cleans out cellularly not just your colon but cellularly okay so that is what you call the blood detoxifier and cleanser cellular cleansing and then you have the pure gold the pure gold um, contains um, the fey duvan which is a guinean weed parsley turmeric cayenne pepper spring water ginger you know and that is like a raw product that's like a raw product so is the blood detox these are raw that's not, any, not anything that's cooked that's like food manger uh, comida right so that there is basically utilized you know conjunctively together juntos you know and that there is a tablespoon three times a day is very strong because of the high levels of sulfur in the girl it will burn you literally right and then burn the mouth and burn the, as it moves through your inside you'll feel the heat so it removes coal and helps with the circulatory circulatory system okay good for sinuses hair fever asthma you know heart heart problems all them type of things there right so then you have the fade of syrup you know that's the that's the one we used to call the the garlic weed syrup that's the fair duvan syrup and that hair is basically what you call the guinea hen weed and that is in a syrup form you know with um sea moss also and also cinnamon and bay leaf and all these different type of things there to help to actually regulate the consistency of the blood okay so it builds it up you know and this is one of our sweet products it's it's just sweet our sweet taste very quite a syrup okay so then let me see what what Michaela is asking here again would the human's health package help with hair loss i mean the the female's package helps with female issues not just one problem it's a systemic clean so it helps with the whole physical structure all right so definitely we do give thanks then we're going to talk about the hemp syrup afterwards but um we do for an intercession when we come again we're going to go live into our final segment so all questions that you have you type it up and wait until we come again definitely ja rest of right that's it It's not easy getting rid of these types of greases every day. It's hard work. But if you really think about it, it's not really us doing the cleaning. At Atwell Daglish, we believe it's all about the product. Our extensive new line of ChemClean products are extremely concentrated, eco-friendly, effective, and guaranteed to make your life a whole lot easier. Whether you're cleaning at home, the office, or at industrial type spaces, when it comes to food-based solvents, sanitizers, cleaners, floor care, commercial machines, and dispensers for laundry care, let the product do most of the work for you. Introducing the best brands in the cleaning business from ChemClean Limited, only available at Atwell Daglish. What makes a great sign? Simplicity, creativity, huge and loud, small and quiet. At Excel Sign, we help clients all over St. Lucia create the perfect sign for their business needs. Our printing takes place right here with state-of-the-art machines to get the job done at the highest quality. We specialize in a wide variety of pilot signs, vehicle wraps, channel letters, billboards, 3D letters, and lots more. Designed to have high visibility, longer life, and great value. Call or visit Excel Sign today and find out how we can help your business express itself. Excel Sign, taking signs further. This summer, get ready, set for school with the Educator or Educator Plus Loan from the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. No more back-to-school stress. The Educator Loans will take care of everything you need, including school fees, materials, and supplies. Up to $10,000 for primary and secondary students and up to $20,000 for young adults with affordable payments for up to four years. Call or visit us for more information today. The Educator and Educator Plus Loan only at the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. Save and borrow with pride. Terms and conditions apply. 
FJC and Anthony presents Emancipation Day Monster Challenge Walk 2019 going down on Thursday 1st August 2019 registration $20 groups of five pay $15 pack proceeds will be donated to the Mario Football Club starting time 6 a.m. water and shirts will be provided starting from the Mario playing field to Chapmel Mondo, Bele Hill, Lacqua, and back to Marigo. Come emancipate yourself from mental stress. Plenty of prizes to be won, including a water dispenser with four bottles of water, monster hampers, and many other products. Registration points, Eco Supermarket in Cooley Town and Promise Supermarket in Marigo. For registration, contact Anthony at 461-7008. FJC at 717-1025 and Travis at 717-9396 Sponsored by Monster Energy, Blue Water St. Lucia, JJ's Paradise, Promise Supermarket and Acres Supermarket Yes, we do give thanks as we have entered into our final segment of our program and we are asking you to interact and you have to interact because if you don't interact, you know, I will um, interact. I mean, you know, I will have to, I mean, you, you cannot make this like it's only pre thing. It is, it, is, it is your thing. You know, so definitely, so what we have here is the hemp syrup. Now you've heard so many people talking about the whole aspect of the hemp plant and the CBD, right? So this here, and they talk about uh, the whole aspect of the CBD being um, destructive to cancer cells and prevent them from multiplying, prevent them from growing, and some, some particular types of CBD from some specific strains of, of, of hemp, of herb, they literally actually help to destroy cancer cells, particular cancer cells at particular stages of cancer also, as they have done extensive research in countries like, like um, even in America, America and also in Israeli, you know, um, in Israel, you know, and all these places there. So when we actually study the herb and when you understand the whole aspect of, of cancer cells, say cancer cells are sugar loving. That's why when someone have cancer, they actually inject them with a radioactive sugar. Uh, it means a ribulose or some kind of sugar. But a radioactive sugar, that is that it actually, it inject the sugar into your, into your, your, your bloodstream, you know, and, and because cancer cells love sugar so much, what it does is that it actually all the sugar would aggregate or congregate around the cancer the cancer field areas of your physical structure so after they after they have injected with, with that radioactive sugar they'll push you through a ct scan and wherever it is that you have cancer cells it lights up okay so then we know that cancer cells are sugar loving they love sugar sugar make them grow so what do you do what we do what we have actually done is that we have we have actually combined the CBD molecule with a sugar molecule, right? And then what it does now, it goes right into the cancer cell. And, you know, it helps to actually, you know, nullify the effects of these cells and helps you to keep you calm and keep you cool, you know, because you know that it is also rich in omega-3 fatty acid. YouTube isn't working properly. What is happening? with Why isn't YouTube working properly? Do you have distributors of your products in Jamaica. No, I mean, we're on, we on the internet. You just order your products nowadays and we, sh we ship to you wherever you are in the world. YouTube isn't working. I mean, what is, what is happening with YouTube? I don't know what's happening with I can't help you. 1758451 1758453 You could call. Shalom, Pri, Shalom, my brother. I have some holy basil plants growing. What is a good way to use them? Well, a holy basil plant is a holy plant. It's a herb that you could actually burn in your area to clear space. Also, it's very good for digestive problems. It is very good. It's very rich in iron. Helps to build up your iron levels profusely. And it is very good to calm your physical structure. If you have diarrhea, you have vomiting, the holy basil plant is indeed a holy plant. Okay? So you could burn it to actually clear space. Very good to clear space. Shallow. My Lord, give thanks. One seven five eight four five one nine three four nine one seven five eight four five three one seven three zero. Definitely, you could call. So tonight we look at the 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 cellular cleanse, right? Um, we look at 
the, the mucus removal and circulatory system enhancing tonic. We look at also the blood regulating tonic, which contains the guinea and with the CMOS and so, and then the hemp syrup. So these four products we actually took a look at this evening, and then we're going to take a look at some other products are, are coming up. And specifically, these products here are made by our, our hands, and they are made, you know, um, using wood fire, you know, and they are made using mortar and pistol, and they are made using spring water, you know, carried from our own spring sauce. So what we, what we offer you is genuine products, nothing made from... A synthetic setting and all these different type of things these things that are actually made from nature utilizing the elements you know to actually help to create you know healing products right so we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver we also mentioned the herbal manual that's a book you could literally get right here in st lucia on jeremy street you could just go to liberty foods definitely you could get that and also you could get it right um on amazon you could go on Amazon and you could actually order it from Amazon. Or you could go on prescalash.com. On prescalash.com, you would literally get all of our products from the, the Herbal Manual, the Food of Seven Vegan Cookbook, you know, all of our herbal products, all these things there. Definitely, you could get that right from there. Yes, St. Lucia, what happened? I mean, no calls. I mean, you, you just stop calling. That's it. So, okay. So, all right. So, I mean, if you've had enough of me, then, I mean, I could just go ahead, you know, just, um, we, and we're supposed to be having a conversation. Okay? Yes, me could call a blessed. Blessed love. Yes, honorable. Give thanks. Yes, give thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, Priscilla, what would you recommend for um, numbness in the fingers? Um, strong numbness. Um, also tingling from both arms, not the shoulders down. Mm -hmm. From the shoulders down to the arms. Okay. But it, that doesn't happen all the time. You would, you would, certain positions, the waist and the neck and so forth, but the numbness in the, uh, in the fingers, mm -hmm. both hands, what would you recommend for that? Well, I mean, you'd have to look at some kind of pinching of your nerves or some nerve things coming from your, your vertebral, your vertebral, your, your thoracic nerves, uh -huh. because what would be happening probably, or even your cervical nerves, because if it's tingling and it's from the shoulders going down, uh -huh. and you have it's a nerve that actually comes from your spinal cord, and comes out and branches out to give you feeling and sensation. Okay. All right. So more than likely, you'd be having some kind of inflammatory, inflammatory problem here mm. around that back area, that region here, that central area here. Okay. So apart from herbs that you could drink, it would be very important to do some stretches. Try to stretch that area here, uh -huh. that area right here, and then do some massages. So you go to the root of it, massage with warm castor oil and cayenne pepper powder. Mm -hmm. You could just cut out, warm up some aloes over some steam and cut it in half and rest it over the area. Okay. Okay, and also then you could use herbs like um, your vervine. Right, that's very good for the nerves. Vervine. 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 Like mm -hmm. what you call um, sh um, Veven Latte what? Oh, Veven Latte what? Veven Latte what? Mm -hmm. okay. The vervine. You could also use what they call... um. John, is there, uh, John, John, famous your police stack avenue. Mm. You, got, you got herb there? John, 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 John. No, um, they call it sensitive plant. Okay, sensitive plant. Um, mm. what they call mimosa puduka. It's a herb when you touch it, when you touch it, the leaf does close. All oh, right, right, right. right. Mm. So, growing up, they say John, John, famous, right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yeah, I know. You mm. remember that, right, right, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, <know. laughs> I remember that, <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, so, all right, so. That herb there is also very good for nerves, so that's a very sensitive herb. Okay. Okay, and then the, I mean the master of all herbs for for your nervous system, my brother is the marijuana plant. Marijuana plant. Yeah, that's that's it. the master for all for the, all the nervous problems. I mean, mm. hands down, it's like Mike Tyson, boop knockout. Okay. Or Elijah Muhammad. Wow, wow. So apart okay. from consumption, you're talking about massaging in the area as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, um, remember, um, the 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 the. The THC receptors and the CBD receptors mm. are not only in your in your in your brain. Right. Your, your why cannabis is so effective is that you mm. have receptors all over your physical structure. Right. So it's something that you could bathe in the water and you could get results. Okay. Right. You could you could just sit down in a steam bath or, or go in a in a, in a in a dark room and 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 a, and, a, and a closed up room and you know and 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 put some herb in a, in, a, in some hot water and just be there and a, in like a sauna setting. Okay. Right. And sweat out and all that gets goes into your yourselves and, right. and you know so it is something that is utilized in several ways mm -hmm. it's not just about um eating and drinking okay it's also okay. about topical application ah okay okay all right blessed love man thank you very much give thanks honorable thank you heart of love four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero i mean definitely you could give us a call we are all yours for this little time here just now we are we are we are not if you hear okay all right so um Okay, the question here. 
All right. Shalom, priest. I, okay, holy basil. I read that one already. Blessed love, honorable priest, Jack Gold Lion. You have an idea what the the peninsula plant is for. Peninsula? Penicillin? I don't know what you're talking about there, brother. I, that, I don't know if you spell it correctly, but I, I don't know. You could, you could tell me again. Adam Alfred, I'm here for the win. I'm probably late. I had to teach karate class. Blessed love. Oh, give thanks, karate master. Adam Alfred, what belt do you have, my brother? You know, uh, my children do go to karate. And I, you know we're going to have a karate segment. So probably, Adam, you could send us some of your, you know, you know moves and things. And we could, you know, we could edit. that. Because you know we have to start up a little karate segment. Because karate, yeah, all my children are in karate. You know, um, from black belt to red belt. You know, and, they, and it's something that they love. And, 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 I, and I love it too. I love it that they are into it. You know, not just for, you know, the physical aspect. But also for that calmness and that tranquility. So... Give thanks, Adam Alfred, for coming in. Give thanks. Um, Jago Lion, I don't know if pen, penicillin, I don't know. Pupa, how do you use the marijuana plant for the nervous system problems? And do I use the net, not the, not the mature plant? Yeah, I mean, the plant you use is the plant with all the birds. I mean, if, you, if you're going to make a green juice, get one with seeds and blend everything. The birds, the leaves and the seeds and you blend and you strain and you drink. I mean, if you're going to use, use it and you're going to smoke it, use a chalice or a steam pipe. And if you're going to <coughs> Swazel Color, I think your, your, something happened went wrong there, Swazel Color, but sorry about that. Right, so a steam pipe, chalice, make it as a tea, you know. Use the oil and massage yourself, you, you know, use it with coconut oil. Definitely, you could use it any of these ways there. All right, nervous system, any of these ways you could utilize it. All right. Um, yes, Pupa45, give thanks, coming out of Jamaica. Rastafari, give thanks. The mature plant, all the time. Mature plan. Don't take it when it's not mature. You know, take it when it's mature. One seven five eight four five nine four five one nine three four nine one seven five eight four five three one seven three zero. Give us a call. Yes, caller. No. Okay, alright. Caller is gone. Yes, YouTube. Come on. What are you saying? Okay, it seems like you. You. Everyone has had enough of me. So. Since you've enough on me, I'm going to close up then. Eh? Okay. So you have the herbal manual. This hair basically is available on Amazon and also on our website, preschoolers.com. And also on at Liberty. That's on Jeremy Street, right here in Castries, opposite the New Market. And the herbal manual is not just a book that talks about herbs. It teaches you about the physical structure. It goes through all the systems of the physical structure. You know, from your endocrine system to your digestive system, urinary system. Yes, Swizel Kola, blessed. Yes, uh, I want to ask you, please, can you tell me, uh, what's good for phritis when you have it inside you? Arthritis? Yes. Well, if you have arthritis, number one, you have to stop eating too much meat. Okay, the more meat you eat, the worse your Pardon? arthritis. Right, and also, when I say meat, I also mean fish. Okay, what? because arthritis is inflammation of the bones. And yes. that inflammation comes from the breaking down of excessive proteins. Uh -huh. Right, so you literally have crystals uric acid crystals between your joints right so these crystals here when it rubs on your cartilage it actually causes inflammation no, i want something to drink drink yeah but, uh, yeah, but i'll tell you just now yeah, okay, okay so sorry okay so then you have to abstain from high protein foods especially fish too right so then you could use lots of stinging nettle what they call zoti you could blend the zoti strain the zoti and drink it very good for a phytic pain also, sea moss is extremely good. Thank you so much. Right, sea moss, very good. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome, bye. my Have sister. Give thanks. Bye-bye. Yes, Grand Rivia Caller, blessed. Do you know a plant called insulin plant? What's that? Insulin plant. The insulin plant? Or fairy coaster. I don't know, I don't know. If, no. Probably I know it, but I don't I, Okay, thank you. That's all? Yes, yes. But, I mean, tell, tell us about it. I mean, you could teach me about the insulin plant and, and send me a picture of it or something. No, I mean, since I heard it's an insulin plant, then it has to do with sugar. Well, there are plants that contain a substance called inulin. Inulin, okay, which is basically similar to insulin. And it does, it does help to bring down the, the, the sugar levels of your physical structure, but I don't know there's a plant that they call the insulin plant. You know, I don't, I'm not saying that it's not there, 
I would like to see a picture of it. Probably I know it by a different name. Okay. 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 But the, I also know. I also heard the name to be Fiery Costa. Spell that. Oh, I can spell that. I heard the name. Okay. All right. I will. I will look it up. Okay. Okay. And next time when you call, probably I would have an answer for you. Okay. Okay then. Give thanks. Alright. Blessed. Blessed love. The insulin plant. Okay, we look up that. Does the people don't want to hear don't eat meat? Yeah, they don't want to hear that. And the people don't want to hear that they're not supposed to eat dead animals. They just they just they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. And they're sick and they don't know that, that they have to stop eating it. Yet goes the caller, blessed. Good night, um, brother. God bless you. God bless you also, my sister. You was talking about arthritis. That was so interested. But the lady cut you shocked. I was so interested to hear that fish and meat and these things. Can you give us a little thing on that again? Okay, God all right. bless Distance. you. Yes. Love. All right. So, Emmy says she, she, she wanted and she asked for it. Yeah. So, what I was saying that arthritis. Arthritis basically is a buildup of um uric acid crystals between your joints that means that you literally because of the high consumption of fish and meat right um basically and what happens and, and red beans and and all these different type of things there and soya beans also all these beans all these things they have a lot of a particular type of protein and when it's broken long it increases your uric acid amount in your physical structure now when you have high uric acid what it does it crystallizes and it goes between the joints right your knees and all these different places and, and as the as your joints move the crystals actually scratch up scratch up the cartilage and cause an inflammatory reaction okay and that inflammatory reaction now results in what you call arthritis because arthritis means inflammation of the joints that's all it means inflammation okay so it's important to drink plenty of water your stinging nettle you know um cassia lata massage foam castle and cayenne pepper powder Put, wrap some aloes around it. All these different things, they are very good. Lose some weight, right? And stop eating dead animals. That's, that's a primary thing, okay? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Aurelin, calabash juice is awesome. Yes, I mean, calabash is a very, um, very good, what you call, um, home cleanser. It cleanses the home and also it's a very, it's a mild laxative. Yes, my sister, give thanks, okay? Give thanks. Very right. Yeah. Rosie Le Collar? Yeah, sorry, brother. What I wanted to ask you, um, omega three and these things is fish oil. No, 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 no. We can omega three is a nutrient. Is a is a is a type of fatty acid. It's not a fish oil contains omega three, but so does you know what they call them um, coupier. Yeah, coupier has has more oh. omega three than, than the fish oil coupier. So and, and, and is good for the arthritis. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So coupier contains more of that, right? So fish oil is just one substance that contain omega three fatty acids. So you have the hemp seeds contain it. You have the the flax seeds contain it. You have the coupier, what they call a puslin, that that actually contains it. You know, so you have many different types of of nut oils that contain the same omega three fatty acid. Okay. So don't eat um neither meat nor chicken nor fish nothing like that when you suffer with arthritis you have to cut them things out of your physical out of your thing not cheese no egg none of these things you have to cut them out and and juice okay. a lot of green juices drink plenty of water you have to flush out your physical structure right so the least you could do is do it for 21 days and see what happens if you feel better then then okay voila if you feel worse then go back to your thing give it a try so so let me tell you if Man. you have a heart problem. I say you have a pacemaker. Mm. You can take coupier. Yes, I mean of course because omega three fatty acids are very good for heart. Actually, and also the coupier it helps to actually soften the, your arteries. You know, it makes everything you know nice and 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 good. All right. But if I come to you, maybe you can help me a little more on that, right? But why, why are you so doubtful? You must be the doubtful. The doubtful, doubtful. I, I, I hope. I mean, your, your name cannot be Thomas. Okay. No, when I say help me, I mean if I come to you a visit. Yeah, I know, but know? I mean you saying, but if, but if a lot of times. I know you. You are very good. You are very good, and I can say you are a kind-hearted man, because I have been to you once, and the price of things was, 
you gave it to me lower in a reasonable price. Give Sometimes thanks. people see you off on the TV there, they might think, well, you want to make a money, but you are such a helpful man. St. Lucians don't even know unless they test you. So I'm telling St. Lucians, don't be afraid to go and visit this brother because he's a kind-hearted man. God put him there for a reason. Let's make use of him before it's too late. Good night, brother. God bless you. Give thanks, my, my, my honorable sister. Well, I mean, I, 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 it's for those who've never heard it on YouTube, she was just saying that she visited us and then we gave her some um, um, products at a good price that, that the priest is kind-hearted and so on and so on and so on, you know. Um, give thanks for the love, honorable, I mean, sometimes these words, I mean, not all the time these words are like goal, you know, goal is not just a physical goal, but goal is, is like the words. Wonderful words. Blessed love. Yes, Angela Kola, blessed, give thanks. Yes, um, brother. I'm trying to find out what kind of um, natural medicine someone can use for anxiety. A natural medicine for anxiety? Yes. Well, what you could use, you could use chamomile. You could also use um, sour soap leaf. And you could also use marijuana. Marijuana is good for anxiety. Yeah? Okay, all right? So then, what you have to understand is that, though, that sometimes you have deficiencies of particular minerals within your physical structure that make okay. you get anxious. So you have to cleanse out yourself, clean out your colon, clean out your colon, clean out your colon, you know? Drink your little castile okay. latte for seven days to cleanse out your colon. All right? Then you, okay. then after you drink that, after you cleanse out the colon now, then you begin to build back up yourself. Do a lot of zippy now, a lot of sea moss. You understand? Okay. Do a lot of little right. green soups. A lot of, a lot of vervine green juices. These things they are good for the nerves. Drink a lot of fit with tea, shadow benny. All these things there, you know? So you, you, you take a better interest of yourself and you practice deep breathing. Right, deep breathing. So whenever you're trying to get anxious, because anxiety, you get anxious. Also. Take a deep breath. So when you yes, feel, I, you know, yes, take a deep breath. I, do, I right? do that, but I was looking for something natural. Like but that's I'm natural. Like, yeah. Like that's you natural? just said there. Huh? I said that's like what you just said there, because um, I keep getting uh, medication for it. But yeah, I wanted but to I go mean, natural, like day, you said. That won't help you, because anxiety comes from inside of there. You know, so you have to be able to take charge of your life and take a better interest in yourself. So okay. to deal with anxiety, you have to start to focus more on taking care of yourself. So all the time you are thinking about negative things, <gasps> right? Start to think about positive things. What am I going to do today to take care of myself? Oh, let me do a nice little sea moss. <gasps> oh, let me go and do a nice little vervine tea. <gasps> oh, let me go and do a, like, a little sour soap green juice. So when a negative thoughts come in, you replace it with a positive thought of something positive you could do for yourself. Right? So you practice positive affirmation. You start to do deep breathing exercises. So what that does to you now, it actually allows you as a person now to, to take charge of your anxiety. So something that would get you afraid, right, would actually encourage you to do something to actually counteract it. And I learned that okay. myself. So things I used to be afraid of, I, I go towards it. I don't run from it. Uh from things I'm afraid of. I more go towards it. You know, so I like to, you know, confront my fears in that case. Okay, then thank right, you, Mr. So Rush. Have a good night. Breathe. Love. Oh. All right. Um, okay, you have the chia seeds also contain the omega fruits. Give thanks, Adam. Fresh garden green gardens are like an insulin shot. Natural. Oh, give thanks. Dolores Alexander, honorable Honorable, blessed love, I know all is well. Oh, give thanks. Definitely, it's, it is well in my soul. Brazil nuts also contains omega-3. Yes, okay, Adam, give thanks. Pupa 45. Can, can consuming too much green juice be bad for your organs, especially the liver? Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Does your herbal man... Of, of course not. I mean, I, well, based upon what green juice you're talking about, if it's some... Um, some green juice with alcohol, I'll destroy the liver. Also, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, I started using the sour soap tea. I couldn't sleep at night. I'm sleeping now. Thank you. Oh, give thanks. Definitely. The sour soap leaf is a very good sedative. It helps to calm you down and keep you good. Okay? Very good. I mean, the, 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 uh, it's not pre-scalers that discovered that. You know, this is something that our elders have been doing for generations. Generation upon Generation, our elders have been doing that. Okay, so remember the herbal manual available at Jeremy Street at our Liberty Shop on Amazon. You could pick it up a copy or 
priestkailash.com, priestkailash.com, P R I E S T K A I L A S H, priestkailash.com. Definitely you could get that. And also, all your products. We talk about the hemp syrup. Basically, as a painkiller, blood regulator, also helps you know with nervous and and all them anxious little problems you're talking about. Help you rest good too. Also, we talk about the the Feiduvan syrup, which is basically the guinea hen weed. That syrup here actually is very essential. Contains your bay leaf, contains um, also sea moss, good to regulate the blood, boost up your mineral content, right? And you have the pure gold, which is basically a fire medicine. Helps you remove mucus, cold from your physical structure. So contains ginger, um, guinea hen weed, contains some um, cayenne pepper, contains um, parsley and spring water. All that basically is these are raw products. And the blood detoxifier and cellular cleanse contains your castellata and all these other herbs to cleanse the liver and to boost up your physical structure. So all our products are available on our website, prescalash.com. That's prescalash.com. And also our products are available at Liberty right there in Castries. So definitely for those people in St. Lucia, because you are in St. Lucia, you will, you will definitely get the products at a different price because you just are in St. Lucia. Because I mean, if you it's just like buying factory. So you go right at the factory doorstep, you could come and pre-scalash and oh, you get it for that price. And then those on our website, I mean, definitely you could always come to visit MKRC Mon Kailash Rejuvenation Center definitely and see all it all it is that we have to offer as you know in st lucia we have a center and that center specifically is designed to actually heal us from all of our sicknesses and our diseases so you know definitely you're welcome to visit our website priestkailash.com visit liberty on jeremy street give us a uh, an email uh, priestkailash at gmail.com that is priestkailash at gmail.com all of our products definitely are available and remember the herbal manual will be in essential as we will start off our live broadcasts of our Herbal Garden Tours. So even for you in St. Lucia, to be a part of the, the, the live broadcast of our Garden Tours, to go into the bush and get the herbs and live broadcast on YouTube, definitely you need to subscribe to our channel. Just subscribe to the channel and share it around to all, all your people. Is my screen the only one lagging? I don't know, my sister. Probably the internet is causing it to lag. I'm sorry about that. But you could also look at it on Facebook. On Calabash page, it's supposed to be doing very good. All right, so probably it's lagging. Lakilia, Washington, Lakilthia, Lakithia, Washington. Give thanks. Deep rooted kernels. Tr try blue version for anxiety. Blue vervine, not blue v v v version. Blue vervine. Okay, yeah. Give thanks. Deep rooted kernels. Give thanks for all those of you who are with us tonight. Deep rooted kernels. Give thanks. Shout out. You know, um, Aurelin. Um, Brand, oh, give thanks. I mean, I, your screen had a little problem. Give thanks. Washington, give thanks, honorable. Uh, Dion, Pupa 45, Adam Alfred, give thanks, honorable Empress Itopia, give thanks. Um, PHV, Tall St. Lucia, give thanks. Kevin Paul, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Jago Lion, give thanks. All those people who were with us, Nat Natasha Lake, give thanks. Bobo. Give thanks, Heather Francis, give thanks, all those of you who are here with us tonight live on YouTube. We do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. And definitely those people who want to contact us, could contact us via email, organize your, your live consultations because we also do Zoom consultations live. So you could organize that and just book that with us. Just email it, okay? Heart of love, give thanks. Ma Killer Blake, give thanks. Lots of love. Rastafari, bless it. So give thanks all those of you in St. Lucia also. As you know, we have to sit up with our YouTube people and sit up with our St. Lucia people because you know the program is a program that is actually viewed by several different people, different places, you know. So give thanks, as you know. In our little YouTube playback, they say, well, the playback alone was 150 playbacks or whatever. So we give thanks for those people who played back 150 times. So give thanks for all those people who are actually with us tonight on, on Calabash Television. Remember, we're looking forward for Next Strong as we are, uh, you know, interacting with you and working towards having a, a better life free from pain and disease. Remember, Liberty Foods on Jeremy Street, opposite the new market on Jeremy Street. Not the old fashion anymore, the new market. Ja, Rastafari. Bless it.
this summer. Get ready, set for school with the Educator or Educator Plus loan from the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. No more back to school stress. The Educator loans will take care of everything you need, including school fees, materials, and supplies. Up to $10,000 for primary and secondary students and up to $20,000 for young adults with affordable payments for up to four years. Call or visit us for more information today. The Educator and Educator Plus loan only at the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. Save and borrow with pride. Terms and conditions apply.